Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan and in today's video we are going to be looking at the Victorinox Explorer. In my view, the best Victorinox in the range for urban carry. Okay, so what do I mean by urban carry? Well, not exclusively outdoor. If I'm outdoor, then I will always want the saw and the Huntsman is my preferred choice. The reason for that is because you've got manageable uh, weight and size. It's a four layer knife. That means it's okay to carry because when you're carrying regularly, size and weight is always a factor. So if I don't need a saw because I'm in an urban environment and by that I mean an office environment or the home office or perhaps traveling for work then I have the opportunity to replace that saw with a couple of other tools and the Explorer provides two really unique tools that are really practical and functional one is the magnifying glass which I'm going to go into in a little bit more detail and the other one is the inline Phillips which is a really practical screwdriver. Some people use the Explorer for day-to-day -day use and that is fine in my book. Although for me, my everyday carry is still the Victorinox Compact because it is compact. So for me, the Compact is my EDC. However, I can totally appreciate it if people are happy with the slightly larger size that this can be an EDC knife of choice as well. And interestingly, um, in the comments on the videos I've done on the Compact and the Huntsman, a lot of people refer to the Explorer as their favorite Victorinox knife. And when you look up close, you can see why. Okay, let's quickly run through the tool set on this Victorinox. It's a four layer knife and two of those layers are allocated to what I would say are the standard staple Victorinox tools. And that consists of a can opener stroke screwdriver, which also doubles up as a Phillips screwdriver. And then opposite that tool, you have the flathead screwdriver, which is a large flathead and bottle opener, and you have the Wyatt stripper here as well. This tool also locks at the halfway point, which means you can use it in that fashion to get more leverage, whereas the, uh, the opposite tool, the can opener, doesn't need to do that. In addition, you have the standard drop point blade, non-locking like all the tools here, under three inches, which means it's legal for UK carry and carry in most countries. It comes very sharp out the box. It's a high quality stainless steel, which means it can be easily sharpened. And this is great for all sorts of things. You don't have to have a Victorinox with a picture in your head of out in the wilds with bare grills, uh, gutting squirrels. A Victorinox knife can be used in everyday use and I use one every day. And that might be as simple as opening packages or cutting fruit. It's surprising when you've got a knife with you at all times how functional and practical they can be. In addition to that knife, you also have opposite that particular tool, the smaller knife, same profile drop point, but smaller, easier to control, easier for cutting in small areas. And some people don't use this knife at all until it's really needed. And that way it keeps the blade super sharp at all times, but it's great to have a backup blade however you use it. That's two of the layers. You'll find those tools on most Victorinox knives and they are very useful. Okay, the other tool that comes with this, which is a, a must have for me, is the scissors. The scissors here are quite large and they are very sharp and very functional. I am very reluctant to carry a Victorinox without scissors because I actually use these more than the main blade, particularly in a general urban environment. The Victorinox scissors are top quality. They function really well. And my standard test for scissors is shock cord. Shock cord is an elasticated cord and because it's got elastic strands in it it's actually really hard to cut. The first test is will it cut it under tension and that's easy but the real test is will it cut it loose and the answer is yes. 
This is what I would call a mid-size Victorinox knife, 91 millimeters in length, as you can see there. This particular one is around 20 mil uh, wide. And that dimension there, if you include the bulge for the blade is 25 millimeters. The weight on this particular knife is 101 grams, which is three and a half ounces. Okay, so we've got the main standard tools. We've got the scissors, which I think are an essential, particularly for urban use. And then you've got the two additional tools, which make the Explorer really interesting. Let's have a look at the Phillips screwdriver first. It's an inline Phillips. Uh, you can tell straight away that this is going to be easier to use than the T-shaped Phillips that appear on some other Victorinox knives. The T-shaped Phillips comes out at a T like that and you use it like that. If you're in a confined space, the T-shaped version is quite tricky because you just can't get the whole thing in to turn. So that is a limitation. Plus, normally when you use a screwdriver, you want to do that and you want to be able to rotate it easily in your fingers. And you, you can't do that as easily with the T-shaped version. So I much prefer, and I think a lot of other people do, the inline version. And this is a really nice Phillips screwdriver. It has a little bit of length to it, which is really useful and you can get into tight spaces. It's a number two Phillips, but it will, if you use it carefully, um, manage other sizes around that, including very small Phillips screws. So Robbie the robot here is the sort of thing you need the screwdriver for when you are replacing batteries and that is a perfect fit you could not do that with the other Phillips screwdriver because it's too big too bulky and it's just not as convenient to do that with well I'm in here yeah I think we can get rid of those There we go. Robbie is happy. Okay, let's now have a look at the magnifying glass. And this is something I wish was uh, evident in more Victorinox knives. You don't see it in many. It's there on the Champ, which is a very large knife with just about every tool on it. It's also available on the Victorinox Cybertool Lite, which is one I am keen to look at in more detail in a future video. Other than that, it's on the Explorer and you can find it on a couple of the Venga knives, but it's a smaller magnifying glass on that and I'm told not of much practical use. So this is really interesting to me. This magnifying glass will double up as emergency glasses. I can see that super clearly without glasses on. Now, obviously it's very small, but in an emergency situation where I've lost my glasses and I need to look at a text message on the phone or access a contact on my phone, this will do it. Then obviously you can use it for other things as well. And I have something here that is a great test for a magnifying glass. This is my Apple charging plug. Now, if you want to know what the power output and so on is, on this is then you need to look for the small print and my god is it small on this thing the information on this plug is actually underneath these two pins here and i don't know whether you can pick it up at all on this camera it is in here and if you want to read that with my glasses right now absolutely no chance i mean it is super tiny if i use a magnifying glass then it works really well. And I can see from this that this is five volt, um, one amp output and the usual stuff. I can see it's designed by Apple in California, made in China, all that kind of stuff. I can see by using this Victorinox knife. So anything that requires really close up work, then this is great. There is some talk about this being suitable for starting fires. I think if you need to use a magnifying glass to start a fire, then you are in real trouble. For a start, you're not going to need that fire to keep warm because the sun is going to have to be right at its peak and blindingly bright. There are videos of people starting fires with the Victorinox uh, magnifying glass. I've not actually seen it using this version of the magnifying glass. 
I actually think it's uh, quite challenging to do it and certainly not the sort of thing you'd want in an emergency situation. So carry a lighter, carry a ferro rod. Um, you can get small ferro rods uh, for these knives. Check out the compact video I've done to see one of those in action, but don't rely on this magnifying glass to start a fire. So this is the original style of magnifying glass in a Victorinox knife. It comes in this gray plastic surround and it has a plastic lens. The lens magnification on this one is eight times. And if I use my plug test with the really small writing in here, I can see what I need to see. It is bigger, but it's very much distorted around the outside of the lens. And it's actually quite hard to hold it still to get that magnification. This one, on the other hand, you can see is a bigger lens. Um, it's also a little bit thinner, which makes the tool a little bit more compact. And the magnification is five times. So actually the magnification is a bit lower. Nevertheless, I prefer this one uh, over this one by quite a margin. It is easy to use. It's a bigger lens. It's easy to hold steady and it is a lot clearer. Now it does look a little bit like a toy, which is a shame. There are stories of lenses popping out. Um, I don't know how easy that is to break, but it just looks a little bit plastic fantastic. However, it does work really well and I've never had a chance to try this magnifying glass until I bought this in order to do this review and I'm really impressed with it. This version was released in 2004 to replace this one which appeared in 73 and this in my view is much better. For those that are interested this is a Victorinox Champ Super Timer. Uh, Super Timer because it's actually got a clock in it they don't make this anymore. It's um, chunky. <laughs> It's not the sort of thing I would carry day to day. I have this around, but I don't really use it much. In terms of other magnifying glass options, I thought I would compare it with a flat Fresnel field magnifier. A lot of people carry these as an emergency magnifying lens. Great emergency glasses replacement and very practical, virtually no weight to these. But for close up work, then it's it just doesn't work. Um, this is for this is for general reading without glasses in my view. I'm trying to read the very small print on this plug here and I can't. So there's a clear differentiator there. The magnifying glass on this Victorinox is great for close up work and it will work for reading if you lose your glasses in an emergency. Something like this Fresnel lens, you can read a bigger area more quickly, but when it comes to really close up magnification, nope, it doesn't work. So let's have a look at the remaining tools on this particular Victorinox Explorer. We have here the uh, corkscrew, obviously can be used to pull corks out. It does other things too, like it can help untie knots. If you've got a really tight knot, you can screw this into it, wiggle it about and start to loosen that knot. A lot of people use it for that. In an urban environment, I would recommend purchasing one of these small Victorinox screwdrivers. It's a shame it doesn't come with it. I don't know why it doesn't come with it. It ought to, but you can buy these quite easily and I would recommend uh, putting one in. The other thing I would recommend is wherever you've got a corkscrew here, you have a little hole. And in some Victorinox knives, like the Huntsman and the Compact, you get a pin in there. And a pin can be really useful for all sorts of things. And I find it's great to have that, not just splinters, but there's all sorts of um, things you can use it for, like resetting, you know, those very small depressed clock setting buttons and things like that. And you'll find that in some Victorinox knives, uh, but if you don't get one with it, you can find one and put it in there. There's two more tools on the back of the knife. One is the awl, and this is a really good tool. Very sharp point, also a scraping edge there, which is quite sharp. Perfect for using like a hand drill to put holes in things in an emergency, for example, a belt, or if you're trying to thread some string or rope onto something, you can uh, drill a hole using that. It's got a sewing eye on it, which would allow you to pull a thread through if needed, create a pilot hole in some wood before you put a screw in, say. A really good tool. The 
final tool on the back of the knife is the parcel hook. This has been around for many years and appears on many Victorinox knives. And a hook can be surprisingly useful. Originally designed to lift parcels wrapped in string, think of heavy bundles of newspaper or magazines. This can lift uh, the parcel easily and uh, create a nice T-shaped handle. In uh, today's use, it can perform something similar if you've got a carrier bag with lots of heavy goods in it and the plastic starting to dig into your fingers. You can wrap the uh, plastic around this and uh, create an easier carry experience by um, using this T-shaped handle on your bags. You can also use it to pull boot laces tight along the tongue of a boot. Say, uh, for example, maybe a, an ice skating boot or a walking boot where you're trying to pull the laces tight. It can also lift, say, a hot pot off a campfire if it's got a handle and pull out tent pegs. In fact, pull anything where it might otherwise dig into your fingers. So a really useful tool uh, to have around. Then we have the toothpick which I find a little bit pointless. I know some of you quite like it and I've got all sorts of suggestions in the comments about how people use it but it's okay it's not brilliant. Then we have in the other side tweezers and they are quite useful and they work quite well and they are quite precision so I do like carrying these tweezers. Now you've got potentially a pin underneath the corkscrew and you've got this great magnifying lens you have the ultimate splinter extraction tool with a combination of those tools one thing you will notice it doesn't have plus scales plus scales are where you have the addition of a pen an example of that would be the compact one reason i like it so much in here you've got a pen you'll notice the plus scales have uh, the toothpick and the pen and then the tweezers. It'd be great to have the plus scales on this. I think the pen's really useful for an urban environment. Or you might argue that if it's in your bag that you use for work, you're gonna have a ton of pens in there already. Depends how you see it. But it would be useful to have plus scales on here. Now, if you go back a little bit, they did a version of this with plus scales. They've discontinued that now, which is a shame. And if you're really desperate for plus scales, you can buy them separately. You can remove these scales and replace them with plus scales. And there's loads of videos uh, on YouTube about how you might want to do that. So that is it in a nutshell. That's the tool set. Standard tools, great. Scissors, brilliant. And then you've got the addition of the inline Phillips, super useful, and the magnifying glass, which I love. And that is the Explorer. As a final point, if you are going to use this for everyday carry, then you need to find a way of carrying it easily. For me, normally, I would be recommending this key smart uh, pocket hanging clip here. This is what I use uh, for day to day carry. It's really easy. You just simply do that and it works really well. So I'm a big fan of this system. But there is another option. There's something called a quick clip. I, again, I'll link to it in the description. And this is a third party add-on to add a clip to a Victorinox. I originally bought it to try with the Compact. The Compact is, I think, the only Victorinox knife that will accept the quick clip. And the reason for that is it's all about this key ring loop here. And that has to be on the outside edge of the knife and on the compact, as you can see here, it's actually in the middle, which is quite unusual. So the quick clip will not fit the compact knife, but it will fit this one. So first of all, you need to take the keyring loop off, which we will do. And then you need a small screwdriver and that would draw me to the Victorinox Mini Champ Alox, my favorite key ring Victorinox. If you want to see a full review on that, then uh, check out this review here. And on here we have the combination tool, which I really like, which has a small screwdriver on it. And then this fits on here like this. So let's turn that around. Let's put that in there like that. And let's screw that 
into position. And let's tighten that up. Okay, now we have a Victorinox with a deep carry pocket uh, clip on it. And I think it actually looks really good. This is available in this sort of polished finish or a black finish. There is one problem with it though, and I'm not sure whether I can demonstrate that here. Okay, if you can see that, it narrows here. So to get it onto your jeans, it kind of stops saying you have to lift the clip forward and then do that. And then it holds it. So that, that gap there is not wide enough to fit onto jeans cloth, which is a shame. It's a little bit of a design flaw in my view. If that was a bit wider, then it would fit there without having to kind of do that. Uh, the other thing that is a bit of a challenge is you see your tweezers are a little bit hidden and it's another reason why this small screwdriver is quite useful. Other than that, it is actually really solid. It's not moving at all. I think it looks quite nice. And if you can live with those compromises, it is a good option. So I hope you've enjoyed that review. If you have, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. You could do that now by clicking the link here. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one.